this case consider the issue of vicarious liability and whether or not a crane driver who injured a man standing on a dock was the employee of the harbour authority who he was employed by or the company that had hired the services of the crane and the driver. In this case, a harbour authority who owned cranes situated at a port hired the cranes to a company who used them to load and unload cargo from ships that were docked at the port. A crane driver who was employed by the harbour authority was operating one of the cranes and injured a man who was located on the dock. The injured man brought an action against the harbour authority that employed the crane driver and the company that had hired the crane and the driver. The company that had hired the crane and driver argued that the crane driver was the servant of the harbour authority who employed him. However, the harbour authority insisted that the contractual arrangement between themselves and the company stated that the crane driver was to be the servant of the company hiring the crane. The company, however, insisted that the contract was not relevant in determining who was the employer of the crane driver for the purposes of this situation. The central issue for the court, therefore, was whether or not the crane driver was employed by the harbour authority or the company that hired the crane for the purposes of the negligence claim. The court ultimately held that the crane...